Two really important streams are, are coming together uh, today, and I find it very exciting. One is the traditional lineages of meditation and of deep practice, which have cultivated qualities of being that are quite desirable, uh, you know, uh, patience, loving kindness, uh, concern and compassion. Cultivated these in a way where people really embody them on the one hand, and then a scientific look at what's going on in the brain as the new area of contemplative neuroscience has unfolded. What's really exciting to me is that because uh, the Dalai Lama with the Mind and Life Institute has been encouraging research in this, uh, that some very accomplished practitioners have come into labs and allowed their brains to be studied. And I think that this is giving us an idea of the upper limits of human potential, how far we can push our circuitry. These are people who have done, it's amazing, from 15,000 to 55,000 lifetime hours of meditation. This is Olympic level and beyond. And I think through these studies and through the analysis of the data, we're going to see that our horizons have been too limited. That what we've thought of in Western psychology as um, how you can transform your psyche is nowhere near the upper limit. Mm -hmm.